waiting to get my ticket to go into the elephant park but it seems to be the person selling the tickets has gone off for breakfast so I'm just waiting so it's really expensive to come without an organized tour because you end up paying for the Jeep the entrance and you know the tuk-tuk ride um, and it's more expensive when you're by yourself to pay for the entrance because you still get charged so much money although you're one person they treat it as one plus the Jeep is like it holds so many people but if you're just by yourself you pay more and since it's the off season there aren't any other people coming with me so By the water buffalo, some of them are wild and the other ones are domestic. You can tell the difference with the markings. Look at them, they're just chilling. Basically, elephants were the main reason I went to that park and I was really happy that I saw a fair amount of them. They were in their natural habitat and I enjoy seeing them in their home in the wild. I had reservations about going to elephant orphanages and to ride on them, bathe with them because I got offered to do that but I had like I read really bad reviews about the bad conditions and the chains that the elephants are like uh, chained to and I just didn't feel right to do that so just going to see them in the park where like they're in their home is like much better I just arrived to Ella Ecolodge after a little walk because my taxi driver couldn't come up the hill but look at this place it looks like a proper tree house okay if you have a bag like this I suggest that you just have a pack pack wow this this is very nice that's mine for tonight do I have a bathroom bathroom ah, over there okay and what is this ah oh my own beautiful balcony very nice I like it Ooh, that looks neat. Okay, seriously, this 
tree house is amazing. I'm so thankful I booked this. I can't believe I did something this amazing. I got it off Airbnb and it just looks better than the photos, honestly. So I'm staying in Ella for a day and a half. I don't think I'm leaving. Well, I'm leaving after the day and a half, but I'm not leaving this tree house. I looked at the places in town and I think this place is way better than all the offers that I found in town. Like, they look nice and everything, you could socialize, but I think I need some solitude. I wish I brought my paintings with me. It would have been so nice to just spend a week here just to paint. Good morning, beautiful people. I'm here in Ella in the most beautiful tree house. Just listen to the birds and everything. It is extremely peaceful. I wish I knew it was this amazing. I would have stayed at least a week. Like seriously, you could just stay here a week, paint and read and just relax. Um, the town of Ella is very small and I don't know, I wasn't a fan. I only looked at it a little bit. There are like few shops and restaurants. It's a bit more touristy than what I've seen so far, but I prefer just see, staying here in the treehouse since it's really beautiful. I get like a really nice balcony with this beautiful view. Okay, it looks better in real life. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend coming to a place like this. Like, it'll give you a lot of peace in your heart it's just beautiful and i'm just waiting for my breakfast i'm extremely hungry i woke up at four in the morning i'm on a very very early schedule um so woke up at four and breakfast is at eight so 15 more minutes to go and i can't wait later on today i'm taking the train from ella to nura nura alia Ra'alia, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, the, the thing is I wanted to stay here until like noon time, but the last train is about, well, the last early, like express train or something. I don't know, there is a type of train I'm gonna go and discover very soon, but it's um, at 10.50, that's the latest I could take, so I'm taking this one, and it's a three hour trip. This is my beautiful breakfast to ride into my tree house. It's very simple, but it looks absolutely delicious. And look at my breakfast view. Like, you can't beat that. Absolutely stunning. Oh my heavens, this tea is so good, like very proper. You drink it and you just, it goes right into your veins. It's just mm, so good. I'm very sad to be leaving this lovely little tree house. Let me just get my things and head out. Look, seriously, this is like not doable. I should have listened to my heart and brought a backpack, but I thought wheels could help me. Obviously, not when there are stairs. Hi, I just made it to the bus after the train journey. There, like every single tuk tuk and taxi tried to let me go with them, but I thought the bus is a better option because it's dirt cheap. Like, I think it's going to be 50 rupees or something to get to my destination. 
opposed to the 500, so it's like a whole zero difference. And it's quite cool, like we have to wait for the bus to be built before we start moving. And everybody seems friendly, it's the middle of the day, and I'm really excited! We're to the second bus, and I'm going to Kennebolic, but it's very crowded. I think it's like school time, and everybody's here excited to see me for some reason. That was a really fun ride. I had so much fun. And in the next video, you're gonna see the next destination that I stopped at and all the adventures that I got up to. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe for more videos and like and share it. Thank you very much.